is Patrick Raup. I'm the Senior Master Trainer at the TWI Institute and also the author of the book Getting to Standard Work in Healthcare Using TWI to Create a Foundation for Quality Care, which I wrote with Martha Purrier. Um, today, uh, we're going to be teaching my daughter Riley how to wash her hands correctly. You know, with uh, infectious diseases going around, such as the coronavirus, I'm going to use the TWI method to show you how to correctly wash your hands so that you can prevent getting infections like the coronavirus. So Riley, are you ready to start? Yeah. Okay, let me get my card. All right, so here we go. So Riley, how are you today? Pretty good. How's, How's your day you? going so far? <laughs> good. Okay, you having a good Sunday? Okay, good. Um, Riley, we're gonna, uh, today we're going to be um, working on correctly washing our hands. Now, I know you wash your hands all the time, right? But um, uh, do you ever, I know you like that show, um, Chicago Med, right? You ever see how the surgeons wash their hands yeah. really carefully? Yeah, this is going to be something like that, a little bit more intensive, um, but not, not quite that much, but um, a little bit more than what you're doing right now. Um, I know you like to do art projects, right? So sometimes you get glue and sparkly yeah. stuff on yeah. ink on your hands. You know you have to really wash your hands yeah. a little more intensively to get that stuff off, more than when you're just washing your hands on a regular basis. This is a little bit like that. Okay, so why don't you come on over here. I'm going to stand here. Why don't you stand a little bit behind my left shoulder here. Okay, now Riley, I'm going to show you how to wash your hands. I'm going to go and demonstrate this several times, okay? Um, and the first time I do it, I'm going to do it telling you the important steps, okay? So this job has five important steps, okay? Five. So the first important step is wet your hands. Wet your hands. That's the first important step. Wet your hands. The second important step is to apply soap. Apply soap. Okay. The third important step is to rub your hands. Rub your hands. The fourth important step is to rub your fingers. Rub your fingers. Rub your fingers. That's the fourth important step. And the fifth and final important step is to rinse and dry. Rinse. Rinse. And dry. Rinse and dry. It's the fifth and final important step. Okay. Now, let me show it to you again. This time, I'm going to give you some key points for each of those steps. Okay? Some key points for each step. So the first important step was to wet your hands, right? Now the key point here is without soap, without soap. So when we wet your hands, the key point is without soap. Then the second important step was to apply soap. Now here the key point is enough to cover all surfaces. Enough to cover all surfaces. Okay, enough to cover all surfaces. Now the third important step was to rub your hands. Now there are two key points here. The first key point is palms to palms, palm to palm, and the second key point is palm to back, palm to back. So palm to palm and palm to back. Now, the fourth important step was rub your fingers. Now here, there are four key points, four key points. Okay, the first key point is interlocking. You see how I do that? Interlocking. That's the first key point, interlocking. The second key point is backs of fingers to palms. Backs of fingers to palms. The third key point is tips to palms. Tips to palms. Okay? So backs of fingers to palms and tips to palms. Backs of fingers to palms and tips to palms. And then the fourth key point is thumbs. 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 Okay? You got all that? Now, the fifth important step was to rinse and dry. Now, here, there's one key point. And the key point is, use your towel to turn off the water. Use the towel to turn off the water. Okay, that looked pretty good. Now, Riley, I'm gonna show it to you one more time. Okay, now this time, I'm gonna give you the reasons for the key points. Okay, why we do it that way. So the first important step was to wet your hands. The key point was without soap. And the reason we do it without soap is because 
the water, you know, a lot of people like to put soap on first, but when you put soap on first, the water washes away the soap. When your hands are wet, when your hands are wet, the soap naturally lathers on the water, okay? So if you wash the soap away, you'll waste all the soap and you won't have enough soap. And the soap will lather on the water, okay? So you want to, without soap, you want to put the water on first without soap. Now the second important step is to apply the soap. Now here the key point was enough to cover all the surfaces because we don't want any germs left behind, right? Okay. Now the third important step was to rub our hands. Remember there were two key points, palms to palms and palms to back. And the reason is, we want to clean the entire surface. We want to clean the entire surface. So palms to palms and palms to back. Now the fourth important step, rub your fingers. Remember there were four key points. First key point, interlocking. The reason is, we want to clean in between our fingers. And we want to get, we can do that all in one time, without having to clean each finger one by one. We can do it all in one time, okay? The second key point was backs of fingers to palm. The backs of your fingers to your palm, like that. Thing. The reason is, we want to make sure we get all those crevices, you know, like the cuticles in your fingernails, or even some of the creases in your knuckles, the germs can hide in there. So we want to get all those germs in there. And then, the third key point was fingertips, because we want to get underneath the fingernails. Get underneath your fingernails, okay? So backs and fingertips. And finally, the fourth key point is thumb. The reason is that's the most active part of your hand. Right? You use that the most. Now, the fifth important step is to rinse and dry. And the key point here was use the towel to turn off the water. And the reason is because there may still be some germs on the handle from the last person who used the sink. And if you touch the handle, now your, your clean hands are infected again. So use the towel to turn off the water. All right, you ready to give it a try? Okay, so let's trade places now, Riley. Now you come in here. Now the first time, I'm gonna ask you to do it a couple times, Riley. The first time, just go ahead and do the job. You don't have to say anything. Just do it, don't say anything. And don't forget the interlocking, remember the interlocking? Okay. All the way, all the way. Mm -hmm. Wipe your hands off totally, and then turn off the water. Because again, once you, want, you want to make sure your wipe, your hands are totally dry before you turn off the water, because those germs now are on that cloth. So you turn it off and throw it away. Make sense? Okay, now Riley, let's do it again. Now this time, Riley, I want you to do the job and tell me the important steps. You remember? How many important steps were there? Five. Okay, so go ahead and do it and tell me what they are. Okay. What are you doing? What's the first important step? Rinse with water. Or wet your hands. Wet your That's hands, right. Yes. Okay. Rinse with water. Wet your hands. Wet hands. Okay. Go ahead and do that. What's the second important step? Soap. Apply soap. Apply soap. Good. What's the third important step? Um, rinse hands. Or rub your rub hands. hands. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Go ahead and do that. We're gonna rub our hands. No, no. Don't forget the back. No, no. Before that. Yeah. Get the front, tongue, front, and back. Okay. Now, what's the fourth important step? You've rubbed your hands, now you're going to rub your... Rub your fingers. Right, good. So go ahead and do that. And then the back. Good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, make sure you get all around. And your fingertips. And fingertips. Okay. Good, good. And thumbs. Okay. Mm -hmm. Those are all your fingers. Okay, now what's the fifth important step, the last important step? Rinse. Rinse and? Dry. Good. like you got that down. So now let me ask you to do it again. Now there were a lot of key points, right, to each of those steps. 
So now I want you to tell me all the key points while you do the job again. So go ahead and do that. What's the first important step? What is? Okay, go ahead and do that. Now what's the key point here? Okay, so when you have water... No, just tell me the key point. What's the key point? When you wet your hands, are you going to use soap or not? No, no okay, soap. So no soap. Okay, without soap. That's the key point. Remember that. Without soap. Now what's the second important step? Apply soap. Okay, what's the key point here? Enough to cover the whole surface. Perfect. Okay, now what's the third important step? You're doing it right now. Rub the hands. Rub your hands. Now there are two key points here. What are we doing here? What are you doing right now? Palm to palm. Palm to palm and? and palm to back. Perfect. So remember those two things. Palm to palm and palm to back. Okay, now what's the fourth important step? Back. Uh, rub your, you rubbed fingers. your hands. Now you're going to rub your? Fingers. Fingers. Now a couple key points here. What's the first one? You're doing it now. Yep, interlocking. Interlocking, good. What's the next key point? Backs. Of backs. Fingers. Where are you? Where are you rubbing the backs? Mm. Where are you rubbing them? On the palms. On the palms. So backs to palms, and then. And well, then fingertips to palms. Fingertips to palms, good. And one more key point here. Thumbs. Thumbs, very good. Okay, very good. And then. And what's rinse. the fourth, the fifth important step? Rinse and dry. Rinse and dry. Hey, what's the key point here? Uh, you have to rinse your hands off and then turn the water off. With the? With the towel. Right. Good. Wow, you are getting this, Remy. Okay. All right, Riley, I think you're getting it, but I'm going to ask you to do it one more time for me, okay? Now, this time, this is the hardest part. I want you to tell me the reasons why. Why do we do the way we do Okay, so let's do it one more time. So what's the first important step? Wet your hands. Okay, and the key point was? Go ahead and do it. Without soap. Okay, why, why without soap? Go ahead and do it. Why Why do we do it without soap? Because the water allows the soap to actually uh, to lather, cover. Yeah, to lather. Lather. So if you just use soap, it's just going to rinse off. That's right, perfect. Okay, remember that, okay? Okay, now what's the second important step? Apply soap. Okay, what was the key point? Enough to cover the whole surface. Why do we do that? Why do we need enough to cover that? Because you don't want to leave parts out with germs. That's right. You don't want to leave any germs. You want to kill all those germs, right? Yeah. Okay, now what's the third important step you're doing right now? Uh, rub your hands. Okay, and what are the key points? You're going to palm to palm, mm -hmm. palm to back. Okay, why do we do that? Why do we do palm to palm and palm to back? Uh, so you get all the surfaces. Yeah, get all the surfaces. Very good. You want to get the entire surface. Okay, good job. Now, what's the fourth important step? Fingers. Fingers. We're going to rub your fingers. Now, a couple key points here. The first one you're doing right now. Interlocking. Why do we do that? Why do we do the so interlocking? you cover all the surfaces of your fingers. Especially in the sides. In, in the, the middle. middle. Right, because here you get the surfaces, but we've got, the germs could be in the middle. Right? Okay, so you want to get the inside of your fingers. Okay, now what's the second key point? Backs of fingers. Where are you going to rub the backs of your fingers? On your palms. Okay, why do you do that? So you can get into like the crevices in your uh, cuticles. Cuticle, perfect. And then the third key point? Is the tips of palm mm -hmm. to get under the fingernails. Good. Okay. And then the last one? Last key point? Rinse and dry. Right, that's what that. Don't forget. Thumbs. thumbs. Why do we do your thumbs? So, because they're the most used part of that's your right. hands. So don't forget that. <laughs> okay. And then what's the fifth important step? Rinse and dry. Okay. And what's the key point here? Um, to use the towel to turn the water off. Okay, why do we do that? So you don't get the germs from the, uh, the sink right. from other people. That's right. Okay, so you don't want to recontaminate your hands all over after you clean them, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, so let's finish that up. So Riley, I think you're going to be great at this. So um, now, whenever you wash your hands, you'll know the correct way of doing it, right? If you have any questions, just ask. You know, if, uh, if you're ever like at the hospital, you can talk to nurses, they'll give you that procedure, they'll tell you why it's so important, you know, or we can, you know, check on the internet if you have any questions about how you wash your hands or getting, taking care to protect yourself from getting viruses like the coronavirus, right? Okay, so, um, you know, as the next couple days, I'll check on you from time to time, see if you're washing your hands okay, right? If you have any questions, just let me know, all right? Okay, so good luck. All right, so that is our lesson on uh, washing your hands. So I hope that all of you watching this video, um, what you can do is uh, go back and re-look at the video 
and uh, um, actually practice washing your hands just like you saw Riley did while repeating those important steps and key points and then the reasons for the key points. Now, unfortunately, if you do it by yourself, I'm not gonna be there to give you any corrections, so I'll show you that I had my notes. So these were my notes, you can see, take a look at that. You'll notice that I've divided my what we call our breakdown sheet into important steps, key points, and reasons, and you can follow along with this. But the key thing is that you remember these points. They're just few and simple words. You can see how fairly easy it was for Riley to remember those things. So you wanna kind of repeat them over and over again until they lock in and they become hardwired, and then you'll be washing your hands correctly each and every time. Now, if you have any questions or you want to know more about the method that I use, the TWI job instruction method, please visit our website at twi-institute.com, twi-institute.com, and we'll look forward to answering any questions you have from there. Thank you very much.